Hi, Larry Gaines, PowerCycleTrading.com. Yesterday, I did a video on kind of some of the steps to identify a potentially decent trade setup. And so it was on Costco. So this was just using the daily time frame, daily chart, using our FIB levels uh, and using moving, moving averages. So, you know, we were looking at this for a trade setup for a long trade and, uh, you know, pushed above that 382. So that's positive. Now, I want to show you some additional tools that uh, we like to use at PowerCycle Trading. And that's momentum for direction and then options for trading the, the, the trade itself for managing your risk. So this key, the key right now for uh, Costco is it needs to hold kind of this best case scenario is hold this 382 retracement at 291. Now it could come all the way down here to 288, 289 and still be okay because that's your kind of a key moving averages that we like follow the 21. But let's uh, add momentum and then sh and I'll show you then an option trade where you can keep your risk very defined and very low. Now these three charts um, have momentum. So it's a measurement of, of speed uh, and price movement. So what it does is helps you give you kind of direction as to where price can go based on momentum. So this is a one hour time frame. This is a four hour time frame in the daily. So you can see our momentum indicator cycle one and two are momentum based or positive. So we had a pretty de decent push up, ran into some resistance right here at that 50 retracement level. And then you can see the four hour came off into the close. You can see it, this histogram is starting to fade a little bit on momentum and the one hour went negative. So now we've got to be careful and watch this to see if it get a bigger pullback. So based on this, we had originally set up a call debit spread and then we adjusted it yesterday to call Condor to reduce our risk. So let me show you that trade setup and how you can manage your trade risk by, you know, adding uh, our selling options against long option positions. So then to keep the trade really defined and low risk, we set up a October 18 series, 295, 297 and a half, call debit spread at a dollar, dollar three. So it went out today at 90 cents on that pullback. Now yesterday we hedged it. We'd reduce some of this risk by selling the October 18 series, 305, 307 and a half, bear call credit spread at $28. So uh, with that on, our risk is reduced by the credit received. So this trade went out on, on the close about down $9 or so. But we've got a really nice profit zone in here. And so if it stabilizes, pushes back into this zone, uh, and if it goes out between the short strikes of the 305 short and the 297 and a half, this trade next Friday at expiration would be up $175 on a total risk of 75. So uh, a number of different ways to play uh, directional trades, but this is one way that we like to do it, keep our risk low, and we can also then do additional adjustments. All right, hope this helps. I'll talk to you on my next video update.